Hi friends, this is Lana and welcome to my new video. In today's video I'm going to show you my first 5 Penton Cards paintings that I have already done, tell you about materials I use in this challenge and tell you about my drawing experience. And the 6 cards will be drawn together. I really hope you'll enjoy this kind of chill video, I'd like just to share my thoughts here. If you don't know, friends, what the Penton Challenge is, it's basically a fun painting challenge that was originally started by Big Blue Tank or Dory on Instagram. She just made this painting challenge with these Penton postcards that have a colorful base on them. You basically should paint on top of these colorful cards using that color as an inspiration. They are not originally meant for painting, so I have personally had to do a little bit of preparing before I start painting on them. I found this challenge on Instagram and was very excited so just because it's a great way to develop your creative thinking, I guess, and push yourself to draw more friends. And yeah, Dory started this challenge and I put her socials down below so you can check her out. Also, I'd like to mention that all my process videos of these paintings you can find in my Instagram, so if you'd like to see them, the link is on the screen now and in the description down below as well. So, what I usually do with each of my Penton postcards when I start painting on them is to cover them with this watercolor ground since this surface doesn't work well for watercolor. Actually, I haven't found any participant who does this challenge in watercolor, the most popular medium for this is gouache. And I guess gouache would fit better for this challenge, but I don't work with this medium. I work with watercolor and I decided to try friends. Actually, after doing the first cut, I understood I couldn't go further without uh, white gouache since watercolors are transparent paints. But it's okay, I always use white gouache in my usual sketching, so it wasn't a problem to me. Okay, let's leave this card to dry for some time. Yeah, and while this card is drying, I'd like to show you my first 5 Penton illustrations, which I have already done. The first one is Dolphin. The idea of the sea popped into my mind immediately when I saw this amazing color. I was eager to start with something simple and I was really scared that it wouldn't turn out good to draw the water in the beginning. Frankly, drawing these postcards, however, was not so easy just because this is actually a miniature and you should take the smallest brushes you have and work very carefully and to draw the illustration in one breeze. I like this dolphin illustration and I'm so happy with how it looks now, hope you will like it as well. The second card is koi fish. I had never drawn this colorful, fun fish before and then we went to the zoo with my little daughter and looked at them and after that I knew for sure what to draw next. Also, it was my first experience with drawing on a black background. I like this challenge for such non-standard situation, I don't think I would draw on a black surface ever. By the way, is there black watercolor paper? The next third illustration is these sunflowers. I wanted to do an illustration for the Independence Day, which we celebrated on the 24th of August and I thought it would be great to draw something similar to the colors of our national flag. Moreover, it has been so many sunflowers in bloom for the last months and that's how this illustration was born, friends. The next fourth card I call the Cloudy Day. Frankly, I am not satisfied with this one, just because my idea was to draw this bridge's visibility in fog, but my white gouache refused to be transparent white as I wanted. That's why it turned out not so romantic in that way it was designed. And what do you think, friends? And the latest one, the fifth spent on card illustration, my favorite. I got the inspiration when walking in the park with my daughter by looking at just terrific sunsets there. We have amazing warm and cozy sunsets in August. On that warm evening I was thinking about traveling and that's how this idea of plan was born. Frankly, I spent not too much time on this drawing, it's too simple, I guess. Let's come back to our Penton card which we covered by the ground at the beginning of this video and start drawing together. 
This will be the 6 illustration from 100. Yeah, I really have a plan to do all 100 paintings. My idea is to draw raspberry on it. Well, this deep pink color reminds me about Barry's friends. And we have the second season of raspberry here, so it's a good way to draw the juicy and sweet berry. I started drawing my illustration using this reference, which I downloaded from Unsplash. I leave some good links for you where you can find with the inspo or download the free good photos in the description below. I'm taking a simple pencil now. I'm doing the press sketch on a grounded surface, friends. Yeah, I saw a lot of participants do this before, but believe me, at the finish of our drawing you will not see the simple pencil lines. I try to make my first sketch from general to particular. And then I'm planning to take a needed resin and uh, we'll do some clean up. I decided to put the lightest places using white gouache with cadmium pink. Firstly, I also listed all materials I'm using for this illustration down below. So, since we are painting on a colorful, pretty dark background, we should sync opposite to our usual drawing. I mean, in my usual watercolor sketching, I always do the lightest places or glares when finishing my drawing, but this will not work here with colorful surface. Actually, my idea is to put the light, then dark, and some places live without covering by paint since we have already the color this pendulum card gives us. So now I take a laser and crimson at my brush and uh, put it in those places where shadows are. Now I want to work with depths. I'm mixing Shadow Violet with Black and Caput Mortum, such a fun name, and starting to draw the places between my berries. Also with the same color I'm tracing the lines between these raspberry pieces. I forget friends how these parts of berries are called, since I was studying this in biology class at school last time and it was a long time ago. Now I'm taking the white gouache and uh, start enhancing the lightest places. I'm really scared and doing this very carefully. I want to have as realistic result as I can. And now I just put in some cadmium pink on my brush and doing some random shy drawing at my berries. So now I'm taking the white watercolor pencil and decided to replace the texture of the berries and put the pink paints once again in Z places which I lost by using a white pencil. Sounds difficult, yeah? I guess it's done, friends. I like this turned out like some mess from the one side, but from the other, nobody said to me this is not raspberry. <laughs> this is the hardest moment in any drawing, when to stop, <laughs> yeah, friends. I enjoy this raspberry painting and like this challenge so much, friends. My super plan is to paint all 100 postcards, 
So if you are interested to see the process and progress of this drawing, you are welcome to my Instagram, where I'm sharing not only the Penton illustrations and my usual sketchbook paintings as well. Hope you are also enjoyed watching me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, leave a like and comment so I know you watch it until the end. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye!